Well, hello everyone. Sharona Rapsick here. And this is an unboxing and review of the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine and with the illustrations by Dan Craig. And this is a new tarot deck that just came out. So it comes in a lovely little box. Uh, this is the box that it comes in. Very pretty, very beautiful colors, very elegant looking deck. And it's a very special deck in that uh, not only is it a 78 card traditional tarot deck, it's also can be used as a 78 card oracle deck. But we're going to get into that in a little bit more later on. So it comes with a wonderful little chunky little guidebook, which has over 200 pages. So um, it's a very thorough book. You'll find, we'll get into it a little bit more later on, but it goes into each of the 78 cards. And in addition to giving the traditional meanings for the cards, you're gonna get a main, uh, a message that was channeled by Radley Valentine for each of the cards from your guardian angels. So let's take a look at the cards now. So this is the back of the card. Uh, I've taken some of the angel courses with Radley, and I know that this is one of the ways that um, he will point out that angels do appear to many people as swirling lights of color, not necessarily in the uh, traditional um, depiction that we see of a cherub with wings and these are the cards and like all of Radley's cards they have different borders different colored borders on them as to whether um, it's going to be a major arcana card and different color borders for each of the four suits so anyhow we're here to take a close-up look of each of the cards. So the first card in the deck is the Dreamer. And that is the, uh, the title that Radley assigns to what many people know is the Fool card. And one of the things that I do like about this deck is it gives you three keywords. So for the dreamer, or what many people know as the fool, we are given the keywords a beginning, believing, protected. So this is a wonderful deck for beginners because uh, you can just simply take the uh, keyword and make up a sentence that goes along with what you're seeing in the cards. Now, on this card, we it shows that uh, Bradley's belief that we have guardian angels that are with us 24 7 okay the number one card is the magician and you see it has the three uh, keywords manifestation empowerment preparedness and the High Priestess. Now, one of the things that I love about Radley's decks are the diversity. As you go through the cards, you'll see that there are representations um, of all races, all genders, all body types, all ages. So it, if you're looking for a very inclusive deck, uh, this is a very wonderful deck for that the empress and there we have the words uh, creation abundance action 
the emperor and we have organization leadership structure and wise counselor is the title uh, that Bradley has assigned to what many people know as the Hierophant card. And once again, he is bringing, his intent with this deck is to bring it more in the 21st century. So with the wise counselor or the Hierophant, we get the words belonging, learning, and traditions. And here we have the lover's card. And um, we have uh, relationships, emotions, and choices. And the chariot. We have willpower, victory, and recognition. And justice. Now in this deck, uh, Bradley has You'll find that the Justice card and the Strength cards are um, different from the Rider Waite Smith deck, um, where you know Justice would be number eleven. Here it's number eight, which Riley says is that's the um, traditional way of numbering the cards. So uh, we have here the keywords are fairness the law, and karma. Number nine, the hermit. Introspection, self-discovery, and mentorship. And we have a very lovely little wheel card. And there we have, you know, multicultural uh, little angels. And the wheel, the keywords are luck, progress, and change. And the strength card, really beautiful strength card. Uh, the key words, courage, compassion, and perseverance. And number 12 is awakening. And I think most people uh, we'll recognize this card as being the hangman, but here Radley has is using less um, fearful, less harsh images. So we have someone who is like flying upside down. And, you know, I love the symbols in it because it's a moment of pause. We have an hourglass that's turned on its side and we have the keywords, pause, perspective, and selflessness. And number 13, Radley has titled this card, Release. Now, those of you that are familiar with uh, traditional classic tarot, number 13 is usually uh, deaf, but here he's going more with the actual meaning of the death card, which doesn't necessarily mean death. It means release and endings. So you have the key words, endings, transformation, and freedom. And I love there's like a little phoenix flying up from the hand of the figure. And here's another one which has um, a new title. Uh, we know this as the temperance card. Here it is balance and here the key words are compromise, self-control, and moderation. And number 15 is ego in this deck. Those of you who are familiar with the classic decks, this would be the devil card. But here we have the key words illusion, dependency, materialism. And I love that there's a bird that is getting ready to fly out of uh, bondage to freedom. And number 16, which many know as being the tower, here it is transformation with the key words realization, life change, and liberation. 
Number 17, the star. And the key words are inspiration, fulfillment, and faith. And the moon. And the key words are intuition, illusion, and revelation. And the sun card, really lovely sun card. Success, recognition, and enthusiasm. And renewal, which many people would know as the judgment card, but here the title is more in keeping with what uh, the judgment card means today, and it means reflection, self evaluation, and a rebirth. And the world card, just a lovely, very sweet world card, accomplishment celebration and completion. So as you see, all of the major arcana cards, they have a purple border. So let's get into the minors. So we'll start off with the Ace of Earth and all of the Aces of Earth have a green border. So the keywords there are with the Ace of Earth, or we know that also as the Ace of Pentacles, um, we have the words abundance, opportunity, resources. And the Two of Earth, and we have the key words, balance, prioritization, playfulness. And the Three of Earth, talent, recognition, collaboration. And the four of earth and the key words are frugalness, extravagance, control. And the five of earth. And here we have the key words lack, wary, and assistance. And the six of earth. And here we have the key words charity, generosity, and windfall. And the seventh of earth, investment, assessment, and patience. And the eight of earth, education, focus, details. And the nine of earth, we have contentment, luxury, independence. And the 10 of earth, we have prosperity, security, tradition. And with our court cards in the element of earth, let's take a look at them. Let's see, we start off with the, the page of earth. And what's kind of fun with this deck is if you take a look at one of the previous cards, the Ace of Earth, it's the uh, little boy in the Ace of Earth that is all grown up. And we have the key word studious, prepared, and cheerful. And the Knight of Earth. And I love that in this deck, the knights can be men or women. So uh, it represents the, um, the power and the possibility of all genders. And we have the uh, key words are organized, responsible, supporting. And our lovely queen of earth with the key words, gracious, practical, capable. And finally, our king of earth, prosperous, generous, successful. And once again, all of the, there's different color borders for each, um, each of the different suits. So with the earth cards, they all have a green border. Okay, so let's take a look at the 
uh, Ace of Fire. So this is a suit uh, that most people know as, as wands. And we have the Ace of Fire and the key words are opportunity, creativity, action. And the Chew of Fire, planning, partnering, progress. And the Three of Fire, goals, expansion, wisdom. And the Four of Fire, prosperity, contentment, and celebration. And the Five of Fire, conflicts, annoyances, competition. And there's like a little story there because she has conquered whatever that challenge was. And you see in the Six of Fire, the same figure and this card meaning uh, with the keyword success, recognition, self-esteem. The Seventh of Fire, challenge, determination, resistance. And our Eight of Fire, or Wands, speed, activity, awakening. And our Nine of Fire, keywords, protection, preparedness, uh, resistance. And our Ten of Fire, representing uh, burnout from all that fire. Uh, overworked, stressed, um, imbalanced. And our page of fire, the little girl that's in the ace of fire all grown up and is now the uh, page of fire, creative, enthusiastic, motivated. And whoops, our night of fire. Uh, confidence, uh, passionate, adventurous, adventurous. Let me just pick up, I dropped the queen. So here is our queen of fire, um, intelligent, exuberant, determined. So you see all ages, all body types, um, all races in this deck and all in like a contemporary 21st uh, century setting. So uh, inspirational, charismatic, innovative. Now we move on to what people know as the most commonly as the suit of air or swords. And here we have the ace inspiration, communication, adjustments, and our two of air, indecision, avoidance, confusion. So you see there's the, uh, the two swords and, and the figure is trying to decide which road to take. And here's the three of air, uh, less harsh, with less fear, we have a, instead of the heart being pierced by the uh, three swords, we have a figure who um, is, you know, expressing sorrow and um, hurt and loss, but we have two angels, the two uh, guardian angels that are comforting her, and we have the key words, sorrow, forgiveness, healing. What I love about this deck is that uh, Radley Valentine has maintained the structure of the um, traditional tarot and brought it into the 21st century with diversity and kind of taken out the fear and the harshness. So this, this is um, a really good deck for um, if you're doing a reading for someone who is sensitive, um, 
you know, you don't have all the uh, harshness and fear. So here is our four of air, and we have the keywords are meditation, recuperation, contemplation. And our five of air, and um, it's showing, that's the card where traditionally it shows uh, defeat. Here the, the defeat is still expressed in the card, but it's at playing chess. So it's not necessarily that it's a battle scene, but it's a challenge. And we have the key words, mistakes, um, melodrama, and reassessment. And our six of air, we have relief, hope, and moving on. So all the, um, the air cards have this blue border. And we have the seven of air, which is awareness, caution, and consequences. And the eight of air, self-doubt, confusion, free will. And the nine of air, negativity, worry, sleeplessness. And the 10 of air, where we have endings, recovery, and freedom. So let's just take a look at the court cards in the suit of air. So we have the page of air, and we have truthful, analytical, and outspoken as the keywords on the card. So once again, this is the same uh, little boy that we saw as the ace of air, grown up now as the page of air. And we have the knight of air, uh, intellectual, determined, and motivated. And our queen of air, brilliant, experienced, and also humorous. And our king of air, knowledgeable, objective, respected. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the suit of water. So we have our ace of water, emotions, relationships, intuition. Our two of water, really pretty two of water, uh, partnership, commitment, reconciliation, and our three of water, celebration, community, friendships. And I love the three women here. They look like three women that I, I know. So it's a wonderful deck in that uh, you can uh, really identify with the figures in the card. Uh, we have our four of water, distraction, self-absorption, discontentment. And our five of water, disappointment, regret, forgiveness. Our six of water, memories, childhood, nostalgia, lovely card. And our seven of water, uh, choices, overanalyzing, procrastination. And our eight of water, searching, empowerment, fulfillment. And we have a really lovely nine of water, sometimes known as the wish card. And this is just a really lovely, lovely um, illustration. Wishes, dreams, happiness. Just a really lovely little card. And our Ten of water, family, love, and blessings. And finally, moving on to the court cards in the suit of water, we have the page of water, uh, sensitive, open-hearted, 
intuitive. And this is the same little girl that has is all grown up in the page of water that we saw in the Ace of Water, our Knight of Water, or as we know him more commonly as the Knight of Cups. And he is romantic. He's emotional. He's dramatic too. And our Queen of Water, loving, giving, and psychic. And finally, our King of Water, compassionate, understanding, and trustworthy. So I think Radley has done a really good job uh, with the deck, um, you know, in uh, making it more modern and adding more diversity and also um, bringing in um, I'm just gonna we're gonna do a drawing so I'm gonna kind of put the cards all in a pile and we'll do a drawing out of it but I want to just kind of um, go back to uh, the guidebook as I said it's a really chunky little guidebook and what it is uh, uh, what Bradley says this was created um, to provide e easy access to the messages of the, to, of the divine, and um, which is what divination is all about. And he, um, what I love about this book is he really uh, gets into who our guardian angels are, how everyone he believes has at least two, and they're always there and um, they want to help us. Uh, they're there in good times and bad times. They're there when we're born and they're there when we cross over to the other side. And all we have to do is communicate with them. So this is a tool to help you communicate uh, with your angels. And um, so he goes into that, his philosophy on the angels and then you'll see there are two pages for each of the cards and he has spreads in there but one of the things that I think is really beautiful and really unique about this deck is it's multi-purpose you can use it also as an oracle deck and uh, just draw one card and then you would just go back to the guidebook and it would give you a channeled message for that card. So uh, let's try that now. So I'm just gonna mush the cards around and pull out one. And then we're just gonna go to the guidebook and uh, let's see, which one do we have? Uh, we have Ego, okay. Um, and let's see I'll put this down here so we can uh, look at the card. Let's see what uh, the message is that has been channeled for that card. So you go to the guidebook, and this is how you can use the cards. If you don't want to uh, use them uh, strictly as tarot cards, you can use them as oracle cards. So the message, uh, this is the message that uh, we have as an angel message. And it says that your entrapment is an illusion. So keep in mind, this is uh, traditionally known as the devil card. You are a child of the divine with free will. If you are tired of your situation, choose to leave it and we will help you make that happen. Very good message. So, you know, I love that uh, that there are two ways that you can use uh, this deck. Um, and what I um, like about it, it, it's beautiful, it's modern, and it's diverse, and it's gentle, but it stays true to the original tarot deck. And that's what I really love about how um, you know, Radley's philosophy. And um, I would um, give this, this deck five stars. I really love it. And um, 
I hope that uh, this uh, unboxing and flip through of the cards has been helpful to you that you can kind of like see the stack ahead of time. We've gone through each of the cards. And um, I also want to thank you for joining me. And uh, I'll be posting more unboxings. And uh, you want to look out for my next video. And stay tuned to this channel for more deck unboxings and also book reviews. So thank you. This review has been on the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot and a wonderful deck that's multi-purpose. It's an Oracle deck and it's a 78 card traditional tarot deck. Thank you and love and magic. Bye now.